Hey guys, welcome back to episode 12 of Keeping Up with the Griffins. I hope you all had a wonderful long weekend. It is April 15th and we're your hosts, Snowden Farnsworth and Owen Hewitt. Mr. Gibson will be hosting his weekly head of school parent Zoom chat tomorrow at 9, 11, and 5. Middle school has game time tomorrow at 12.35 and also has a cup stacking challenge. Upper schoolers are encouraged to follow along with Mr. Broadway's Easter art project. We at the Lodge are working hard on getting the announcement for the Honor Society inductees up on our website in lieu of the in-person ceremony. Stay tuned and we will keep you updated as to when that will be posted. Today's segment of Dogs of the Lodge features editor Isabel DeLavac's other horse, Cappy. In local news, Shelby County received a D-plus daily mobility grade from UNACast.com, a website that utilizes cell phone data to track movements throughout the county. This grade is down significantly from the B-minus the county received two weeks ago. The decrease in social distancing will likely be reflected in the number of cases reported two weeks from now. Remember to only leave your house for essential purposes and to stay six feet apart from others. And while this is not a replacement for social distancing, our media editor, Callie Hollis, created a video tutorial of how you can make your own mask at home. It's up on our website now, so you should check it out. Governor Bill Lee is set to make an announcement today about the plan for reopening the state schools. At the time of this filming, he has not yet made the announcement. Mississippi announced yesterday that their schools would be closed for the remainder of the school year. The Orpheum officially announced today that the High School Musical Theater Awards are moving online and will be hosted on June 22nd at 7 p.m. If you're unfamiliar, the HSMTAs are modeled after the Tony Awards and recognize achievements in all areas of high school theater. Last year, the St. George's Griffin Players received three nominations. Because many shows had to be canceled, the Orpheum stated that they would not be having nominations and they would not be handing out awards. They said instead that they will join together and unite in the virtual realm to keep the spirit of collaboration and community going strong. We will give more updates as to how this affects our SGIS artists as we learn more. Today's quarantine creativity is highlighting the St. George's Upper School Choir. They were scheduled to perform in New York at the festival at Queens College on April 23rd and perform with the Choirs of America at Carnegie Hall on the 24th. Both of those upcoming events have unfortunately been canceled, but we wanted to take a moment to celebrate our St. George's singers. Back on March 4th, they competed in the Senior High Choral Festival and won Sweet Stakes and Superior in both categories for performance and sight reading. Here's a video of their performance that day of Prayer of the Children. In order to keep up our senior sports spotlight, we need submission. We have lots of athletes we want to celebrate, so please submit your videos. Because of the situation that we're in, we're obviously having to convert a lot to online, whether that be school or Easter church services and so on. Senior Allison Evans had to try out for her college's cheer team virtually. But all of you had to convert. Let us know by sending us pictures and photos. We've got some new content up on our site. Erin O'Connell shared five self-care activities to do at home. Also, Sam Kirkendall wrote an article titled, Not So Easy to Cruise On Through, and Aiden Curran gives you a quick rundown of what you need to know about coronavirus as of the 14th. Let us know if you have any recommendations or stories you would like us to share. Before we wrap things up, here is a message from 8th grade American history teacher, Ms. Erlinson. Hello there, Ms. Erlinson here, and I would just like to take a minute to tell my eighth grade students how much I miss seeing them in class every day, but how it makes a huge difference being able to interact with them online uh, via our Zoom classrooms. It's something I look forward to. In fact, my weekends are a little bit more boring because I don't get a chance to get online and, and talk to my kiddos. Anyway, um, I also just wanna tell everyone, all my kids, to just you know keep on keeping on. Um, we're gonna get through this and y'all are doing a great job and we're so proud of you. Um, lots of love and hugs, Miss Erlinson. We'll see you with our next episode on Friday.